This is Planet. Okay, so welcome to the Kingdom of Loathing. To begin with, you should visit the two Oracle on Mount Noob in the Big Mountains. You know, I gotta say, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, why doesn't he start in the campground? That would make a lot more sense. Anyways, so there's this giant arrow that says click here. So should I click right there? Clicking. Nothing's happening. Ah. Okay, well, there's this little map and the backpack that says my inventory. And then the moons and Z log out. That's interesting. I'm still click here. I'm clicking. Does it mean click here on the arrow? No. Maybe it means click here. Alright. Alright, big mountains. Where do I click next? There's no giant arrow to tell me where to click. Oh, there it is. That's hilarious. Now click here. Alright, now where do I click, arrow? What do I do now? I mean, yeah, there's this little guy that's that's singing. Maybe I'm supposed to click him, but no giant arrow. How am I supposed to function without a giant arrow? Alright, alright. So, all oh my word. <laughs> the bird speaks to you as you approach. Welcome, adventure! That's what he sounds like. I'm the two oracle, and I'd like to show you the ropes. Here they are! He points to a pile of ropes piled atop a nearby rock. Now that that's out of the way, let's get down to bass tacks. I've got a lot of things to teach you. Where should we begin? My inventory, adventuring, your skills, your campsite, food, cocktails. Forget this two oracle nonsense. I'll figure it out on my own. Let's click that. No. Let's click each in turn and walk through it. Shall we? Teach me about my inventory. It's dangerous to go alone in the big scary world out there. And nothing keeps an adventure company as well as some sweet gear. Let's see what I've got laying around that might fit you. Um. It's dangerous to go alone is a Zelda reference to the old man that says that before you get your first sword in the cave. The oracle digs around a pile of junk behind his rock and produces a couple of items. You acquire seal club and club. You acquire old sweatpants. That's new. Let's click on that and see what it does. Whenever you... S oh, <coughs> sorry. Tight pants can't be discarded. Can't be traded. It's a pair of faded gray sweatpants with elastic drawstring. Most people don't actually break a sweat while wearing them, but... Sitting on a couch eating potato ship's pants doesn't have quite as much of a ring to it, I, I, I guess. Okay. Whenever you see an item, you can click on the picture of the name to get a description of it. Why not try that now? I already did, because I knew what I was doing. But we'll pretend like I didn't know what I was doing, and now we'll click on the picture of the name, or the name. So I can actually click on the name. I can click on the name? Really? No, I can't. You lying, stupid bird. Okay. <coughs> Go to your inventory by clicking the icon. Okay, I'm clicking it. In the menu at the top of the screen and equip the two items I just gave you. Okay. I click on that, but how do I equip? See? It didn't tell me I have to click the equip button, but I guess we're supposed to figure that out. Then what are we supposed to do? There's no giant arrow telling me what to do. So... See, oh, it's a, see this, I have to look over here, but there's no giant arrow telling me to do that. Oh, well, whatever, okay. Good job equipping that stuff. While you were out, I found this and thought you might like to have it. Click on it to see its description and notice the fancy blue text. That means the item is enchanted and equipping it will improve your stats or abilities in some way. You acquire an item. Seal skull helmet. Ooh, blue text. All right. All right, so what would you like to learn about next, adventurer? Teach me about adventuring. I don't believe. Over on the left side, underneath the little icon, you can see the number of adventures you have left. Adventures are used for adventuring, you idiot. Every night you'll get a forty, you'll get an additional forty adventures, capped at two hundred, which would be nice to put in right about now. But oh well. There's a cave at the base of the mountain. Here, let me mark it on your map. Bing. New area unlocked. Mount Cave on Mount Noob in the Big Mountains. You'll notice the one next to the name of the cave. That means that going in there will cost you one adventure. That cave is where I keep my crates full of old junk. 
Head down there and smash some of them for me, if you please. Okay. I'm fighting a crate. You feel a, you're a little nervous about encountering a crate this early in the game. You get to jump on it. Okay. The crate was empty. Fueled by disappointment and boredom, you pick up some of the splinters of wood and whittle them into popsicle sticks. <laughs> That's new. So, it's a cooking ingredient. <laughs> Alright, am I done? See, now, see, he should have told me, just two more crates, you can do it. Oh, okay. See, alright, alright. So, see, he didn't tell me how many I needed to smash. He should have said, you have to smash three. Okay, so, alright. I'm not even going to read all that. Alright. Well done, adventurer! I'm sure you noticed that when you smash those crates, you acquire some items and gain some stat points. Adventure is the best way to get new stuff and make numbers get bigger. And you probably won't be playing this kind of game if you didn't like watch numbers get bigger. What would you like to learn about next, adventurer? Well, I'm kind of disappointed that you didn't give me anything, you stupid bird. Give me something for killing those crates! Oh, Skills are important, and there are two different kinds of them. Some can be used during fights, and others can be used not during fights. Let's investigate the second kind of skill first. Click on the icon up there and use your seal clubby frenzy skill. I don't like these icons. They're different, and I don't like things that are different. Alright. So, see, and it doesn't tell you to click on this to get back to him. He doesn't ever tell me that I have to click on that. Okay, whatever. Well done! I'm sure you noticed that spell gave you an effect that makes you more powerful. Everyone's gonna hate my voice. Maybe you should change it. Alright, alright. I'll change your voice. How about this? You can see! No, that sounds horrible. No, stick to your original voice. Alright. You can see how long the effect will last over there on the left character pane. Yeah, okay. Now it's time for you to learn about combat skills. I've marked the dire warren on your map. It's a dangerous place. You're never... Every ounce of guile, which is worth a pot of Shen Li, you can last through if you're going to survive. Head down there and use clobber on three enemies. So actually, he tells me this time. He didn't. Alright, so. He didn't tell me where clobber was. So he didn't say it was like, I have to click this, click this, and then click that. But, so, you know. I mean, the newbie's gonna be like, oh, how do I use clobber? I mean, you know. Eh, whatever. Alright, alright. I know I'm trying to nitpick, but... Alright. Oh, I acquire an item, alright. <clears throat> Nicely done, adventurer! You probably know it's addition to gaining stat points by fighting those fearsome bunnies, you're also gaining meat. Meat is the currency of loathing, which you'll want as much of it as you can get because you'll use it to buy new skills and new equipment and things. In fact, here, take a little mine to help you get started. You acquire an item, nest egg. Well, that's not meat. That's a nest egg. So we have to click it to find out what it does. Alright, it's an egg. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's learn about our campsite. Just west of the big mountains, there's a campsite for intruders. Once you get assigned to spot, as soon as you arrive in the kingdom, that's where you'll be staying. It's pretty Spartan in the moment. Here, take this tent. You acquire an item, you be sport tent. Now see, I think they missed a joke here. They should have said, it's pretty Spartan at the moment. And then it'd be like, Sparta! Oh, well, whatever. Go to your inventory by clicking the icon at the top menu and use the tent to install it in your campsite. I'll meet you over there when you're done. Okay, okay, so click on this icon, and, oh, it took me right to it, so it's not like, see, it, they've foolproofed it. If you ever find yourself low on HP or MP, you never told me what those are, you can recover by resting in your campsite. Head over there now, click that icon to get it started, let's give it a shot. What about your nest egg? I want to use your nest egg. It's full of meat, 150 meat. Oh, that's not... Go to your campsite, or I could use my main map like you told me to. So, where is he? He's not here. Where is he? He's not here, liar. Where, where are you, bird? Help! The bird's not here! Ah! He's not here! Okay, let's go back to the main map. Maybe that's a glitch or something. Go to your campsite and take a little nap in your new tent! Oh, I'm supposed to take a nap. Oh, alright. You lie down on the floor and rest. Alright, I, I took a nap. So, then he should say, come back to me. I thought he was going to meet me at the campsite. 
You lying bird. Congratulations on your successful map. You probably noticed that your drawing is a little bare, though. Take this to live in it up a little. Certificate of participation. What would you like to learn about next, adventurer? Teach me about cooking. You're... You're a growing adventurer. It's very important you eat to keep up your strength. In fact, eating is one of the best ways for you to help get more adventurers. If you're going to eat, you're going to need to learn how to cook. Take this oven and use it for your inventory and install it at your campsite. Alright. What's this? Hey, you never told me what this is for, bird. Alright. Let's see this surf certificate. You probably hang it at your campsite. Let's see this. It's a quest item? Really? Yeah, okay. Whoa! Okay. You install you install the oven in your stylish outdoor kitchen. The two door coal flies down and lands on a rock next to you. You'll find a lot of food as you adventure, but nothing beats the taste of a home cooked meal. Here, take these ingredients. Blah. Click the icon in the top. Go to the crafting screen and see if you can't figure out something to make with those ingredients. Um. Okay. Lemon popsicle stick. So it's gonna be a lemon popsicle. That, that's cool. Say, that looks delicious. You should go to your inventory, click that thing, and, uh, and eat it. Congratulations, you just have discovered a new recipe. Oh, that's not him saying that. See, he should explain why this is here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll eat my popsicle. I gained two adventures. <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> I wonder if I should, like, if that's even tradable. Like, maybe I should, like, try to sell it and make, like, meat by selling it. Lemon, popsicle stick, orange, popsicle stick, strawberry, popsicle stick, popsicle stick with popsicle stick? No. <laughs> ah, I don't like. Ah, I'm used to my inventory not being this way. It's all. Uh, I'm confused. So is it tradable? Yeah, it is. Okay. Back to the back to the tutorial. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm wasting all your time by doing this. Okay. Food is good, and you should eat as much as you can every day, so you have plenty of adventures to send. What did you learn about next? Hey, that wasn't there before. Adventures do not live by bread alone. Booze is also a critical part of blah, 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 part of your daily diet. It's like my dear old mum used to say: "It's a rough world out there, toot." Now be a deer and fetch me another drink. You'll need this. My friends are on top block. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I love that he gives you new, new items. You install the cocktail and cra uh, kit in your stylish outdoor kitchen, making it even more stylish. He flies down the lines on the nearby rock. Cocktails are a fine way to make yourself less sober. Here, take these ingredients. Click on the icon and see if you can figure out blah, blah, blah. Alright. So, whatever. Uh, hey, that looks like a mighty refreshing cocktail. Drink it, blah. Alright. Uh, oh, and I get a tattoo. Now, is it just me or should this be highlighted? So that I know, like, and then it could take me to my account and tell me how tattoos work. And Alright, whatever. I know I'm being super nitpicky, but oh well. Just like in the real world, booze is a great way to get extra adventures. Just be careful not to overdo it. You might knock yourself out of commission for the rest of the day. You've learned everything I have to teach you. Now it's time for you to set on your own, find your fortune in the kingdom. He didn't teach me, um, he didn't teach me about any of this. And he didn't teach me how to uh, meet paste, which is a huge part of the game. Okay. Is that it? Blah. Oh. Oh my word. This is all different. This is all different. All of it is very different. What is this? Oh wow. Oh, this is kind of neat. Options. Alright. Donate. Take you straight to donate. Alright. Messages. Alright. Crap. He did, but the tutor article didn't tell me how to use any of this. So, I, 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 
And he didn't tell me how to enter chat. Or anything. I've le you've learned everything I can teach you, Adventure Doc. Get out there and make your name yourself. Perhaps Skype. That seems like a good thing. Okay, this has been Play Havoc. Send me all your memes.